IG Live. I am your host, Sonia B, also known as Curly SB on Instagram. If you have never tuned into one of our episodes before, this is basically where we get to chop it up with some of our trap artists, some of our trap um, entrepreneurs. You know, um, they're out here creating all types of really cool things, whether it be music or clothing designs or their models or they just do something super awesome and we want to talk to them about it. So shout out to everybody who's joining right now. Happy Sunday to everybody. I'm about to bring the vibes to you. Hopefully, y'all can give them back. You know, write something in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions for our artists, we strongly encourage you guys to tap in and just, you know, provide a little engagement, some support. Join the chat with us. So, again, if you guys have anything you want to, you know, say in the comments, show some, some support, love, something. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm having a, a pretty good morning so far. Good. All right. So my name is Sonia, and I'll be interviewing you. But did you want to um, enlighten our audience as to who you are, where you come from, and what you do? Okay. So hi, everyone. My name is Siren Red. I'm based out of Delaware and Philly, and I am a creative director and a cosmetic brand owner. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So what got you into doing cosmetic? Well, i always just been, like, a girly girl anyway, so I, like, wear a lot of makeup and stuff like that. So people would ask me, like, where I got my lashes because it started off as a lash company. And it turned okay. out fine. So I was giving away for free for a while. And then people started, like, it was getting out of control. So I started selling them. And then, like, I'm a storyteller and I'm a creative director. So I wanted to combine the two. So I would have the excuse, like, to make videos and do photo shoots and stuff like that. So I turned my mm -hmm. cosmetic line into a digital media company as well. So how my cosmetic line works is actual stories. My palettes are stories. And if you scan the back of them, there are like little movies that I um, wrote and directed and shot and everything. What? Okay. That's a whole different level. Like, okay. So when you scan the back of the box, it has, it has like a YouTube video or you provided like an animation. How does that work? So what happens is, um, I'll just take you through my first one. So this is my first one. It's called Karma. And it's about, like, a woman, she, well, it's about me. It's about a woman who was scorned or whatever, and how she, like, got her karma by, you know, blowing up and healing herself. So what happens is I um, come up with a color story. Like, in all eyeshadow palettes, they have a color story. Um, okay. The color story here is, like, reds, blacks, and, and browns. It's reds down here for her anger, and then there's, like, the more grounded browns and golds for to symbolize how she, you know, became more grounded. So I actually okay. wrote a story for it, and then I um, hired models, and I uh, a videographer, and we shot a story, like, in the Airbnb and everything. And then what I do is I post that on our YouTube, and on the back of all my palettes, there's a QR code. So when you order the palette, it comes in, like, a box. Let me show you the box. Because everything is like a um a theme. So this is the box for Karma. I designed Oh, that's fire. Hold on. Packaging, marketing. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't ready. What? Yeah. So it's a QR code and you scan it with your phone and it takes you to the, the YouTube movie that I uh that I directed because like a little reminder, you know what I'm saying? Because I want I wanted my eyeshadow palette to not only be like a makeup thing, because of course it's like um waterproof and like pigmented and everything, but I want more of like a keepsake so when you're thinking about like hey man i remember i went through that but i'm doing my makeup now let me just scan this so i can watch the movie while i'm doing my makeup and stuff like that like that's a whole nother level right there like i know girls would be sitting there like in the mirror doing their makeup but i also like to have like a little netflix or something going on but like you got the whole game unlocked like it's an it's an experience as they're using your products yeah, yeah. So I started with my story. So my story has three parts to it. The first part was karma, and that's when I first left my abusive relationship. So that's what this story is about. And then mm. I left my uh, relationship. I decided to open my own business. So that's when my second story came about, which is Trap Queen. And this one is like, it's pink and it's green because it's like representing femininity and like how you can be feminine and still be a boss and everything. So it's like, yes, ma'am and then it goes like colors like for money and then I always put a brown and a gold in all my palettes just so they could be like transitionable like for transition shades or like if you want to buy it and you just want to uh, hurry up and go so you have yeah. colorful looks and then also have uh, the black the uh, gold to do basic looks and it's every every single one of them has a QR code and this is the box that it comes in everything is like oh my gosh I designed everything myself I'm really proud of it <laughs> I'm proud of you too like what and then oh my stories when I became more grounded, it started came um become the woman I always wanted to be. So it's like uh 
What's the name of this one? This is called Conscious. Because I feel like I'm more conscious of my feelings and my emotions and my trauma, and I learn how to deal with it. So this one's called Conscious. This one has a box too, but I, um, I'm sold out of the boxes right now, so I can't show you one. But it has like um, butterflies on it to represent, you know, how you come from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Yes. Everything. Oh my gosh. And everything has a story, so they each have their own video on YouTube. Right now, I'm going, now that I finished my story, I'm actually writing the stories of other people and putting them in eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I have done like that is called Influencer. And it is about how um, creators have taken, like, the marketing industry by storm. What's up?